Welcome to the MapInfo Discover webinar series. The presentation will start shortly. The select command is designed for very simple queries where you wish to return multiple results from a single table. So let's see how this is going to work for us. And before we start, what I'd like to do is I'd like to close out of all the open tables and we're going to work with a different data set. So in order to do that, I'm going to come up to File, and I'm going to select the option to close all. Now that I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my open command, and I'm going to find my MI training folder, and I am going to look under my geologic data sets, and I am going to open the file that's called soils underscore XLS. So you can imagine that this would have something to do with soil samples. I'm going to zoom to the full extent so I can see what I'm looking at. And you can see that it's a fairly regular soil grid. So let's take a look at the data set in a browser window as well. So we'll see what the attributes are. So I'm going to open a new browser window and I'm just going to move it down and out of the way slightly. So you can see the values that we're working with are both copper and lead. And what we're going to do is we are going to create a query that's going to select all values where the ratio of copper to lead is greater than one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to my query option. I'm going to choose select. And you can see the first thing that it needs to know is the table that it's going to work with. And we have one option there, and that's going to be our soils. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the assist tool to create an expression. So I'm going to click on the assist tool. And now what I can do is from my columns table, you can see that I have the list of fields that are available to us. And what I'm going to do is create an expression. And in this case, what I'm going to choose to do is I'm going to choose to create the ratio. And I'm going to put that in parentheses. So I can, it's probably just as easy to type that. But what I want to do is show you how the drop downs work. So let's go ahead and use that as our example. So I'm going to go to operators and I'm going to find my parentheses. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it in with my expression. So I am going to take the value copper. I'm going to divide it by the value lead. And I want to select those options when the value is greater than one. So you can see I have moved my cursor outside of the expression and I'm going to choose the operator here and this is going to be the greater than sign. So let's see if I can find that. And then it's greater than the number one and I'm going to type that. What I'm going to do is click the verify button and it's going to tell us whether the syntax is correct. It's not going to tell you whether the expression is going to create the value that you're looking for. It's just going to tell you whether it's a valid syntax. And you can see here that it says yes it is. So now I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And you can see we have options here. We could store the results in a table um, and we could give it a specific name um, and then we could save the table so that we could work with it at a later date. We could also here choose to sort these values by one of the um, variables in the data set and that can be quite useful especially if you have for example drill hole IDs and you need to sort on the ID number. Another option that you have is to display the results in a browser window. But seeing as we already have a browser table open, I'm going to uncheck that box because I don't need that duplicated. And let's see what's going to happen. So now what it's done is it has selected the values that um, conform to the expression that we have created. 
And you can see that, yes, in fact, there is a bit of a grouping there. So that might be something to go ahead and work with at a later date. This concludes the seminar. For additional information on webinars and training services, visit our website at http www.geographicsworld.com or contact us at 520-744-4457.